we just feel you cannot recreate what you get in nature. More so than farmers, you know, I think we look at ourselves as kind of meticulous gardeners when we come to cultivating our cannabis. Absolutely. Um, we're growing not just for THC, we think THC is just one note in the plant and right now the narrative in the market is everything's about THC and I think most of us that are in the cannabis world know that that's not the case. We think the best cannabis really has to be exposed to all the elements in order for it to really reach its full potential. We also took a lead a little bit from vineyards in the area and a lot of wine growers that are here. And it's all about terroir, so it's yes. all about the sense of place. So we kind of carry on that tradition. We're, we have no plans of being a huge player in the market. We really want to continue to be craft cannabis. We want to produce the best flower that we can. Similarly to alcohol or wine, you, you don't purchase your wine based on what has the highest alcohol content, right? You don't want to drink Everclear all the time. In a similar fashion, we're trying to make sure that all of the components of the cannabis plant are equally celebrated and that you look at all those when you want to purchase something. Having the property and having a couple small wineries on the property, we really saw what their format was like having a boutique winery and we're definitely on that craft level of what we're doing. Jim and Brian have really done something so special here. The Madrones is like a even larger experience. It's just this manifestation of what a lifestyle can be when you incorporate all of the wonderful things of life from wine to weed to good food to hospitality and just enjoy and have a good time. Jim and Brian are fantastic and what they're doing with the Bohemian Chemist is frankly testament to craft and quality and integrity and being able to stand behind a product that you put out into the market. I always think about it this way, is like, would you ever grow like a grapevine inside? You know, I think like, I feel like the sunshine and the terroir just adds so much to growing cannabis that it's hard to kind of mimic all the things that mother nature really gives us. I come from the wine and spirits industry and there's obviously so much crossover between wine and cannabis and once consumers understand that and get a chance to experience it firsthand in the exact same place where they're able to experience wine tourism and wine hospitality and then they can go next door from the winery and come over and have this amazing cannabis experience. This is what it's all about. It's about giving people a chance to experience this plant firsthand in an environment that they're already accustomed to. They understand the concept of wine tasting. They understand the concept of how grapes are grown and terroir and all of the things that the wine industry has worked really hard over the past 30, 40 years to create an, a consumer understanding of this industry, of how it can become truly an integral part of consumers' lives, those exact same tools and lessons can be applied to cannabis. And so what's happening here at the Madrones and what's happening with the Bohemian Chemist is truly that next step in bringing consumers into the world of the plant. Consumers are very far removed from the plant, so to get to touch it firsthand, see it firsthand, taste it, ask a question while they're tasting it. That is such a new and integral part of broadening acceptance and understanding for this plant. Our primary business is a boutique inn that's in wine country. So we knew if we were gonna do a retail shop that had cannabis and do a cannabis brand, it had to be really approachable and palatable to the wine connoisseurs that come and visit our inn. And overwhelmingly, it's been received very it's positively. Really well received, yeah. yeah. So it's really exciting to understand that the sun actually brings out the full potential of the plant. So it's the little differences that make all the world to me. We feel that it's important that we change everything about cannabis up, not just the way we interact with it, uh, but the entire experience. And it starts with our conversations, the words that we choose to use. Uh, cultivar, for example, 
We choose to use that word to describe the strains as people may know them. The difference is crucial because we're not talking about microbiology or viruses. We're speaking about cultivated strains that have taken generations to improve and get to the point where they are today. Um, but each piece of the puzzle fits together to create an experience that we're creating for our clients. Here at the Madrones, we have the unique example of being one of the only cannabis resorts. Uh, we actually are a resort with our own cannabis dispensary. So with that, we have a restaurant and two wine tasting rooms, as well as we're surrounded by over a dozen different world-class wineries near us. We don't agree with the narrative that indoor is better. And we personally think just the opposite. Right, we're, we quite think, honestly, right, you know, indoor I mean, is better. But we yeah. also are, are believers in the environment. And I do struggle sometimes with the idea that they're um, growing a plant in these artificial conditions and using tons of energy to do it when the sun does an amazing job at growing 16 right. foot tall yeah. cannabis trees. We don't want to knock indoor that much, but I, I, I think that it, 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 uh, it was done out of necessity, I think, right. a lot of times. You know, it basically indoor kind of went that way because people were going underground. And they couldn't, they couldn't indoor, grow it outdoors. You know? yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. We can grow outdoor now, so, yeah. um, and we think we should be growing outdoor, and that's the best place to do it. And we think actually where we live is probably one of the best places to do that. Um, as does a lot of the world. So um, Emerald Triangle um, is infamous for a reason, for sure. Brian and I, I think, really want to thank those that are actually watching this. And, and we know that uh, typically that's going to be the bud tenders that are at the retail shops that um, are, are showing our product. Your narrative and what you're saying, I think, is so important. We really appreciate that you're trying to actually do the same thing that we are, and that's actually normalize cannabis, trying to offer the best possible products to your, to your customers. Um, we wanna do whatever we can to just support you in that effort because uh, uh, we all need, we're all kind of in this together. For, in order for this uh, industry to really go somewhere, um, we need to actually be working together and working towards a common goal. So uh, it's very appreciated.